Thanks, Clayton. Republican frontrunner Donald Trump under fire for the violence that broke out at his Chicago rally last night, where a majority of the protesters were students and young Bernie Sanders supporters. But why are young people reacting this way and embracing violence and socialism? Let's ask our millennial panel what they think. We have Joanne Nosichinsky. She is a co-host for Red Eye and a correspondent for The Greg Gutfeld Show, comedian Ryan Rice, and Catherine Timp, a Fox News contributor. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right, so things really went off the tracks there in Chicago last night. Why is it that we never see this happen at a Clinton rally or a Sanders rally? Well, all right. So first off, the uh, the millennials are attracted to Bernie Sanders, right? That's our, our first thing here. So attracted. I'm very attracted. Well, of course you are. He's, he's Bernie Sanders. He's got a <laughs> Werther's original for you. Yes, yes. Old people, candy, kids love it. Uh, <laughs> so why are these young kids attracted to socialism? That's well, new. Because it sounds like a new dating site. <laughs> that is. But, you know, I don't think it's actually new, though. I mean, I think this is like Occupy Wall Street 2.0. It's just now mm. all of these young people have a leader, and they think that they have, you know, policy that will make it all work, but they don't realize that to implement well, it, it actually will hurt them in the long run. Right, but he's reaching out. He's saying, I'll help you, and they just say, okay. And you know what? I'll be honest. Bernie is a lovable dude, okay? Mm. I'm one of those heartless grandma pushing off the cliff libertarian people and I have to admit that I personally do enjoy him. I don't support him because socialism will destroy America and I love America and Me I do too. not want I to see want to it destroyed. Put that out. I'm pro America, so. anti-destruction of America. Is what it comes down well, to. Well, you know, sometimes Bernie though, Bernie, pro him as a dude, I think he'd be fun to, at brunch, you know, to watch him get all angry and Is that surprising and though? I, he he is attracting the youngest audience and he's the oldest one running and it doesn't even really seem like most of the people because uh, our correspondents on the ground last night were asking him hey so why are you here protesting trump that don't want to say mm -hmm. can you say no i think that young people love a movement we saw this eight mm -hmm. years ago with barack obama and now it's just even more of an extreme and it's on both sides of the aisle it's bernie and it's donald trump and the thing is that those two are so kind of far apart but yet still very similar well, yeah, that people are clashing generation that grew up getting participation trophies of right. course they love socialism yeah. they have no idea what achieving anything well, is. also these kids are learning in their in their schools that they're supposed to have their little snowflake safe space everywhere they go and donald trump says stuff that they've heard is mm -hmm. very problematic is the lingo mm -hmm. that they're learning in their sociology classes so they're saying this isn't safe i've learned that i need to throw a temper tantrum and people will listen to my temper tantrum and i'm going to scream and shout and that I guess they don't see the irony but, in how uh, that's making a little unsafe for everybody else. In, in the audiences at these Trump rallies, there are a lot of young people. Mm -hmm. uh, so what where is the what's the divide it seems like the if you live in chicago and you're a socialist you probably don't have the money to go on spring break so what's the next uh. thing right trump rally riot let's do spring it spring break's overrated it's very possible mm -hmm. also you know if you're single and alone you might be able to you know meet a few like-minded singles just go in there this was <laughs> going to be about uh this was originally going to be about whether it's okay for a female to message a man for a date mm -hmm. only if it's bernie sanders yeah <laughs> i hope it's okay yeah. I, I i send the first message and then the second message and then like the third one you know mm -hmm. passionate women text vigorously <laughs> passionate we're crazy uh look i live a passionate life <laughs> well, sounds like it so if bernie sanders said dating app what would it be called okay stupid Okay, stupid. Oh, that's a little. You've been how long? You've been you've been really, really wanted. You really wanted to use that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have to stay out of Chicago for a couple of months. We should all. It's very violent there. I don't it know if you heard. Like I will say though, it's not all violent. We we do see some isolated incidents that we keep replaying and everything like that. There are a lot of peaceful protesters out there who should be encouraging more speech and not shutting down Trumps. What do you make? Uh, what kind of? Uh, since it does not seem like most of these people know exactly why they're there. They're just there to stop something. Uh, <laughs> what kind of a college student is going to cause fights like that on a Friday night? Spring break. English majors. Oh, totally. No. Sociology yeah. majors, what's, gender what's studies majors. What's with studying majors. literature so much? We, we need some more, like, economic classes, you know, no. finance I classes. I was an English like major, and I've anymore. never punched anyone. And yet, I've also somehow You're never... Not angry at all. I've also <laughs> somehow <laughs> never been punched, which doesn't really make sense. We can change that. Yeah. Okay. After the show. And maybe we will. That's called a tease, people. All right. <laughs> Coming up. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Coming up, more on the violent clashes at that Donald Trump rally in Chicago. Our own John Roberts, right in the middle of the chaos, and he's going to be here live. Plus, Reebok, it's the latest company to kick soda to the curb at corporate offices. But they're not stopping there. Wait until you hear the list of foods you better not eat on the clock.
Ah, sugar.